Good morning, dear students. I am Ronald Tabat Maago, a senior high school teacher of Bango National High School, Compostela East District, for the subject, Introduction to the Philosophy of Human Person. Let us discover wisdom in the world of philosophy. Last time, we discussed about freedom of the human person. In our previous lessons, we understand what is freedom all about. We learned that every action has consequences. We have to exercise the prudence in our choices. We realize that choices have consequences and some things are given up while others are obtained in making choices. The whole world is more connected now more than ever in the 21st century. Using communication technology such as internet, we can discover and even interact with other cultures around the globe. Look at this picture. Does each person depicted look the same? Does each person have different clothing from the other? With the earth as the background of the image, what do you think does it represent? In this lesson, you will be able to realize that intersubjectivity requires accepting differences and not to impose on the others. Explain that authentic dialogue means accepting others even if they are different from themselves. Performs activities that demonstrate an appreciation for the talents of persons with disabilities and those from underprivileged sectors of society. I would like you to prepare your pen and a piece of paper. Let us answer the activity, what I know. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it is wrong. Write your answers on the separate piece of paper. Number one, intersubjectivity refers to shared awareness and understanding among people. Is your answer true? You got it right! Number two, man has the natural tendency to establish relationships with other people. Did you answer true? Brilliant! Number three, the views and ideas of other people, as well as social context, do not influence our behavior as individuals. If your answer is false, you are correct. Number four, we are primarily aware of people as objects and not as persons. Did you answer false? You're right! Number five, seeming refers to the capacity of individuals to engage in genuine interaction with others. If your answer is false, you got it right! This time, let us talk about intersubjectivity. What is intersubjectivity? According to Edmund Hazard, it is most simply stated as the interchange of thoughts, feelings, both conscious and unconscious, between two persons or subjects as facilitated by empathy. Subjects and not objects. 
treat others as subject in order that empathy occurs to others while using persons and making person things is treating others as objects the rise of greediness not minding others only minding the self our ability to engage in meaningful interactions with other people our surroundings and everything around us is rooted in our capacity for self-awareness and transcendence. Self-awareness. It is a consciousness of oneself as a rational individual capable of determined and reasonable action. Transcendence is going beyond the limitation of relationship. One must have the capacity of interpersonal relationship. It is made possible when the self becomes aware of the other, which includes everyone and everything outside of the self. Take a moment to look at one of your family members. Are you aware of his or her existence? If your answer is yes, then you are correct. Since you can perceive your family member through your senses, your classmate is the other, a being that exists outside of yourself. Now, look at an object at your desk. It may be a pencil, ball pen, piece of paper, or any object. That object is also another, as it is thing that also exists outside of yourself. Now, which of the following action is more reasonable? You begin talking to your family member telling him or her about a funny experience you had in school. Or, you begin talking to the piece of paper on your desk, telling about a funny experience you had in school. Of course, we talk to person and use things, not use person and talk things. Somehow, we sometimes forgot that we are made for others. We care more to things rather than persons. We somehow use persons to elevate ourselves into a certain possession, which possession consider a thing. We need to drive ourselves in a meaningful interaction to our fellow human. We are to define ourselves as the self, and the other is the other self, in order that we find essentials to other as we make ourselves essential. Intersubjectivity is a philosophical concept that explores mutual recognition of each other as a person. It cannot be denied that we interact with other beings in the world. But some of these beings that we interact with are persons and must be recognized as such. Intersubjectivity also carries the meaning of unique relationship between distinct subjects. We are bound to intimate and personal relationship with others in order to create cooperation and experience of shared or common knowledge and shared emotions such as grief, joy, and love. A deeper level of interaction between the self and the other. On the other hand, is the awareness of the self as being seen by others. We interact 
because man by nature is social. Man cannot live alone. No man is an island. Life is like a jigsaw puzzle. I am because of others. I became who I am because of others. Look at the picture. The image on the left is a boy staring at his crush, while the one on the right is a man talking to a woman while her child awkwardly stares at the man. Now, which among the two situations depict the self acknowledging the other? Which among the two situations shows an internal reaction unique only to the self and the other he or she perceives? Lastly, if you are in both situations, which of the two would elicit the most emotions out of you? Would it be staring at your crush or staring at a stranger? These actions are referred to as seeming, where an individual presents himself or herself in a certain way when dealing with others. Persons take on role or up out characters when dealing with certain people or when in certain situations. This is considered as unconscious natural up on the part of human. Elements of interpersonal relationships. Human to strive to achieve deeper and more substantial interactions and re relations with other people. This deeper and more genuine interaction is called a dialogue. And this is made possible when the self realizes that the other is genuine and unique individual. A dialogue is an interaction between two persons that happens through speech or the use of words, expressions, and body language. A dialogue occurs when two persons open up to each other and give and receive one another in their encounter. Genuine dialogue occurs when persons are willing to share themselves in one another period. The awareness of each other's presence as true person defined by the acceptance of each other's uniqueness and differences. Human existence is a continual dialogue with the other and that the self becomes whole through interaction with other people and his or her surroundings. Now, let us discuss empathy and society. Empathy, or the ability to share emotions, is an important aspect of intersubjectivity. This emotion is driven by a person's awareness that the other is a person with thoughts and feelings. It enables us to experience another person's emotions such as happiness, anger, and sadness. Another characteristic of a meaningful and genuine human relationship is availability or the willingness of a person to be present and be at the disposal of another. Important values related to intersubjectivity include acceptance of differences and embracing diversity. We understand that each person is unique. Therefore, differences will exist among groups of people. We always put in mind that we are esse, esco esse, 
To be is to be with others. I am because of others. I exist because of others. Therefore, intersubjectivity must lead us into a genuine relationship among others despite of diversity in many aspects of life. In here, peace, love, and happiness takes place within us, not war and condemnation. Now that you have already learned about intersubjectivity, I want you to answer the activities in your module. You may check your answers by using the answer key at the endmost part of your module. Here are your additional activities. Number one, research on a person with disability who has lived a productive and meaningful life despite his or her disability. Discuss his or her background, significant achievements, as well as the traits that enabled him or her to succeed in life. Number two, have you ever engaged in a genuine and meaningful interaction with another person? Write a reflection paper describing this encounter and how it affected you. Once again, I am teacher Ronald Tabat Maago of Bukamo National High School, Compostela East District, saying, Dito sa TV Skwela, sa pag-aaral, sama-sama. Bye-bye!